The 1940s keeps rolling on as we look at the 1941 Ford Woody Station Wagon. Coming up next. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Welcome back once again as we open up the boxes of model cars from the 1940s as a subject. And we continue our uncovering tonight with the 1941 Ford Woody in its stock configuration. So now grab your surfboards and get ready for the beach as we go down to our table and open the lid on this exciting model. And now we get to wind back the clock and look at another one of these great model kits. This is AMT Ertl's 1941 Ford Woody, the stock version, which means out of the factory. This kit was quite significant. This was at the end of Racing Champs stay with AMT and they were under a great competition back in the 1990s to build better model kits to compete with Monogram and Ravel. So this is one of those golden great entries in model kit history. This one has over a hundred parts and is very very well detailed. It was also the first run of the 41 Woody and I do believe it's one of the only 41 Woodies out there by any of the major manufacturers. And again, my instructions with my little notes that I made to myself. Bought at Toys R Us <laughs> on January 13th, 2003 for $15. Funny Toys R Us is now in closing down across the US. Not quite in Canada yet, but who knows. Okay, so opening this up, you can see instantly the great level of detail. Now here you've got your 40, 41 Ford engine and it's got the crossover pipes all separate. Everything is nice and separate in this. Two sides of the radiator, the radiator hoses, and here they give you a glass template. There is a flat paper piece of glass in here that you cut out. It's not paper, it's clear styrene. And then here are the wonderful wheels. They even made brand new tires for this kit. And look, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces for that wheel. And that's just one wheel, including a white wall insert. And then a brand new floor pan with seats with front and backs and clutch and brake pedals the separate side interior panels and the front windshield inside top which was really uh, innovative for uh, what it was and then you've got your frame and upper and lower x members and tool storage compartments and then of course all your individual components in here looking at the back you have a separate assembly for the rear wheel and then they show the firewall and everything dropping into place separate splash aprons if you're really into detail this is a kit for you even the vent windows go in in their own separate things and then it shows the engine going in the decals going into the wood grain so that you could just paint this tan and then apply wood grain on top which was pretty cool. And your headlights and everything going in. Spare tire carrier. And then your body will pop onto this interior frame and you got your grills and your hood and a surfboard in case you want to go surfing. So now let's see what the decal sheet looks like. This is pretty neat bunch of little lines on clear, but if you painted it brown underneath, it would look great. Okay. Getting into our chrome tree. There's all our hubcaps and the wheels. Nice steering wheel up there and our grills. I'm kind of tempted to leave this in the bag, so we're going to just have to look at it this way. Again, molded in gray, and you got your door panels. Very nice 
nice brand new crisp coach work. Again, an excellent kit. If you turn it over, there's hardly any of those mold bumps like in the 40 Ford Coupes and that sort of thing. And you can even see the ribs molded in top of the roof with the dome light in the right place. If you ever find any of these kits from this time period, they are exceptional. And I wish AMT would have that same staff back again. They even put tape on the bags. Now again, I'm not going to get too into this, but there's the door panels. And you can see they've got all the winders and everything. The nice part with this being separate is if you like to use bare metal foil, you can apply it there. Or simply paint, because now you can actually see what you're, what's going on and you're not reaching down into a tub with a paintbrush. You know, I think i got to open this. It's just this one. <laughs> Let's really take a look at the parts. Because for all the work and effort that this team of model builders, mold makers, put into this kit, I do believe we deserve to give them the credit and inspect their work. Because this staff is no longer there with AMT under round two. And of course, you know, time goes on. Okay, I'm having a little trouble with that, but... Let's start off with our surfboard. Now this is quite a nice little surfboard. And I'm sure the big kahuna would be proud. Alright. <laughs> now there's our hood. With this gigantic piece of part tree. But look, the only mold button is right in the very front nose, which again you can get rid of with a number number 16 hobby knife. And then here we have our, our brakes. Look at all the little dots and stuff. That's just like a real brake. And there's one of our seats. And they included these ribs in the back to give that seat some strength, even though it gets covered over with the seat back. It's still nice to know that it's in there. Now here's the frame. And again, look at the nice crisp lines and everything. All these little holes so your exhaust pipes can go through. Again, very nice, nice work. Then there's that frame and your spare tire. Here's the floor pan. I mean, look at that. It's even, I don't think you can pick this up, but there's even detail in there. And they really tried not to get those little mold dots and things in. And there's the underneath. Now we get into our differential. And this one looks funny because it's actually a two-speed differential, and that was common back in that era to give you some extra high and low gears. So quite nice detail. Okay, we've got some ribs in here for strength, but this is what the parts really are. And you've got your dashboard, the back door. There's our instrument panel and the windshield and the top of the windshield all is one piece. Our air cleaners and engine parts. Very, very well detailed. And again, there's the interior with the door winders and our back, uh, front seat. And it's even got the proper arms and, and whatnot in there. <laughs> the cigarette um, ashtray in the back. And look at the detail on our inner splash aprons. And here's some of the motor parts. And there's our white wall inserts. The clear glass. You need to cut out according to those window templates. And finally, the brand new tires. 
which I don't know if these are Firestone or if they were never actually marked as to manufacture. But there you go. And that is the conclusion of our 1941 Ford Woody for What's in the Box. We hope you enjoyed that episode of What's in the Box, where we got to look at our 1941 Ford Woody station wagon in its stock configuration. And please tune in next week when we're going to look at the same kit as a custom. So now, if you have missed our previous videos, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right here so we can keep doing these amazing reviews. And until next time, keep smiling and we'll see you again real soon.